Hey Gemini, this is Sunny. And this is your love reading for December 2016. Hope you guys can enjoy yourself this month and happy holidays to everyone all over the world. Keep in mind that these are general readings and I may not talk about your situation nor resonate with you. It'll be all right. Uh, watch your sun, your moon, your rising and your Venus signs for more accuracy. All right. Now I'm going to do things differently. Oh yeah, and if you like a personal reading with me, please check out my website, which is below in the description bar. Alright, so let's see what's going on for Gemini's. I feel like you or your partner, <clears throat> there's some sense of feeling guarded. Or maybe feeling victimized or imprisoned by your own thoughts or how you need to act in a relationship. I feel for some of you, you have this set expectation on how your relationship should be. And this may cause some difficulty depending upon how high you set your expectations. Um, I do feel for some of you, like, I feel like this can go either way. Like, you have high expectations for yourself or for your partner but I feel like there's some sense of disappointment right now for some of you okay. I'm trying out a new spread okay interesting so I feel like right now my Gemini's you're at this place where you have this vision on your life just in general like I, I, I keep picking up that you guys are in this sense of fairy tale and it's kind of like you are in wonder about how things are supposed to be so you guys have this set visualization on how you want things to be and you know that's just where you want to be and I feel like this may cause a lot of difficulty because it's kind of like you're in this daydream or fantasy land and I feel for some of you you are in a situation where you feel as if things are fine and your partner may be in this in the space of depression or unhappiness with the relationship I feel for some of you you kind of feel taken I feel like you're taken back at something like maybe your partner has told you how you felt or maybe you told your partner how you truly felt and it was like I didn't know you felt this way why did it take you this long to feel this way well, why take you to you know this song to tell me how you feel and this has caused this has caused some sort of disturbance for many of you I'm also picking up that some of you like you feel ashamed or you don't want your family if you are in a marriage or relationship especially if you've allowed for your partner to meet your uh to meet your family and you know so on i feel like you may be ashamed of breaking the news to your family like you know me and this person we aren't dating anymore or we're going through a rough patch in our relationship because you don't want people to be like oh i told you so you guys were moving too fast anyway or you like you just don't want to deal with the oh my god what happened i'm sorry you don't want to explain yourself to people during this time I do feel like your partner, if you are, you know, tied to somebody, however, if you are single, this may be how you see love during this time. I feel like there is a sense of your partner just really feel tied down or they have a lot of obligations in their life that they need to handle. And I feel like there is a, there is a sense of unhappiness. With your partner or you feel as if love <laughs> that song it's an old song love stop making a fool of me and you're just asking yourself okay what am i doing wrong what have i done like god why are you doing this to me i'm a good person i have a good heart why haven't i found love yet why can't i find somebody stable enough to give me a legit relationship or a true commitment 
because I feel like some of you are going through this back and forth, back and forth. One minute we're together, one minute we're not. And you're tired of being in this limbo. I feel for some of you, <clears throat> I'm picking up the vibe of track. And it's like you're competing either, be careful of you competing against other couples or you're competing with your past. Maybe you want your current relationship to last longer than your previous relationships. But I feel that many of you, you just don't want people to say, I told you so. And you don't want to look dumb when your family's like, hey, where's so-and-so? Are you still talking to so-and-so? You don't want to say, uh, we're not together anymore. And I feel that like basically you guys don't want to have egg on your face. But if you are in a relationship or if you are married, I feel like your partner is going through a bit of a hard time right now. I feel like this person may have Leo in their chart or they're very strong-willed. They're very independent and I feel like they kind of want their space right now. So if you find that your partner is a bit distant, I feel like this person just wants to get their life back on track. I want to pull a card for this person for some reason and I'm going to do that really quick sorry extra cards from another deck popped out okay, give me insight about the person that you know is telling yeah I feel like honestly this person they're just thinking about themselves and they just want to make themselves happy right now and you may find it a bit selfish and you may feel as if this person wants to control every single thing. But I'm getting the vibe that both of you, you and your partner, need to be considerate of each other's feelings. Really find out, you know, why this person feels that way. And allow for this person to understand where you're coming from too. Because I feel that you guys aren't really being considerate of each other's feelings. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of built up anger or built up tension in regards to a certain I'm hearing in a certain marriage or a long term relationship or a relationship that you thought would be long term. I don't know why I'm picking up on Detroit or somebody whose name start with a D. I feel for some of you, you're dealing with someone who has, I'm picking up high demand, like their job really requires for them to stay busy or to be on top of other people or like, I, I feel like they're just dealing with a lot of stress at work or like maybe this is you. Um, so be mindful of you allowing for your work drama to interfere with your love life and vice versa okay um i also feel <clears throat> that something that's in between you and your partner is you guys kind of lost spark of the relationship and you you lost common ground and maybe common interest so like you just lost the fact that what's important in a true relationship I feel like there has been lack of communication or there will be. I also feel like money problems is an issue as well. Be careful of somebody painting this picture that everything is fine. If you are single, I, I really want to talk to the singles as well because I don't want to feel like, I don't want you guys to feel like I'm, le I'm leaving you out. <clears throat> but for my singles, I feel like the way that you are viewing love during this time it's just like it's very cold like why me like god just send me somebody i want somebody but i feel like the big lesson just for everybody and my singles as well you need to think logically in regards to love i feel for many of you there's some sort of past issue that you haven't gotten over be careful of an ex coming back in the picture rather this is this person actually calling you, texting you, randomly hitting you up on Facebook, randomly causing drama in your life, or you keep thinking or dreaming of this person. If this is happening to you, I feel, and this, and your partner may be doing the same thing as well, I feel like 
there's some sort of unfinished business that you need to face rather your partner or your ex-partner so let me, let me rephrase that rather your ex-partner has some unfinished business with you or you have some unfinished business with your ex-partner or maybe your current partner has an ex that's talking to them i just feel like if an ex is coming back like you need to nip that in the bud all right because they are an ex for a reason i feel for some of you there's this sense of jealousy or you have close friends or family who you know may see that you're happy and they may be planting little seeds in your head like uh, I don't think this person is right for you you know I don't know what's going on and this may be for your partner as well I just feel like there's just doubts being placed in somebody's mind and I feel like you guys need to be mindful of like what you truly want from each other and if you're single I feel like you need to be mindful of what you truly want from a partnership uh, don't take offense to this. The angels are saying some of you, like, you just let people in. Like, not trying to mean I'm picking up on, like, this sense of desperateness. I hate to say, like, you just want somebody to love you. And I feel like you guys need to come to terms with what you have to offer in a relationship and what you can offer to yourself. What do you serve? What do you deserve? what can you serve you know um and i feel for some of you you've allowed for yourself to become heartbroken each and every time because you accepted nonsense you allowed for people to treat you unkindly and that's sad okay that's really, really sad and i feel that a lot of you you've allowed for yourself to be taken for granted and I do feel like you guys just need to learn from your experiences. And you need to honestly realize what you're willing to accept from love in general or with particular people. Okay. Honestly, what I'm seeing overall, I feel like the month of December in regards to your love life, it wants you to be mindful of reality. Okay. And it's taking me back to me saying some of you... It's like you're visualizing what you want and i feel like this month is really going to show you what's truly happening how your partner truly feels what you need to understand in regards to love what you've been accepting how people have been treating you it's, it's all going to be laid out on the table okay um what, what card is this okay this is, i feel for a lot of you a big blockage is that you haven't really dealt with your own personal issues. It's like, you just want to make that person happy. As long as they're happy, you're happy. But it's kind of like you're masking your true hurt. You're masking, ooh, hopefully you guys heard that knock. My family is asleep. And that's interesting how that knock came after I, after I said that. So that's a spirit definitely confirming things. So I feel like with me saying that, it's time for you guys to kind of knock on your own door and say, hey, it's time for you to come out. It's time for you to really escape from heartache. Because I feel for some of you, it's just like you're masking you're masking how you feel and you're masking the fact that you're jumping from person to person to person. If you aren't doing that, this message is not for you, honey. These are general readings. I'm talking to a lot of Geminis. All right. But I feel like, honestly, the change that you guys need to understand is to really understand you. I feel like, you know, you are going to have to be the one that changes the outcome of things. If your partner isn't unhappy, ask yourself, am I truly happy? Because the person who you choose to love, they are a mirror for you. I feel like God brings people into our life to like 
shores ourselves, whether it's positive or negative. And I feel like, you know, you guys, if you are in a relationship or if you've been dealing with people, I feel like, you know, these people were, they, they're fairly nice, but I feel like either they're too strong minded or they aren't ready to fully appreciate love. And I feel like you need to ask yourself, do I feel the same way? What's going on with me? Because I'm picking up this. It's like you guys are facing something. You need to realize something. And I feel like you guys are definitely going to be hit with a reality check. You may like it and you may not. It just depends. But I feel like, honestly, this month is truly going to open you up. And it's going to make you a wiser I'm hearing a wiser opponent for some reason. I find that weird. Some of you may be competitive in regards to love. But um, whether you're wiser through pain or you're wiser through success. It just depends upon what you choose to do and what your partner chooses to do as well. But if you are in a relationship or marriage, whatever the case may be, you know, partnerships are all about teamwork and compromising. And I feel with a particular card being in between you and your partner you guys are going to have to honestly create reality together instead of you fantasizing about what you want and your partner fantasizing about what they want you guys are going to have to come together and if they mesh then they mesh but if they don't then you're going to have to just deal with that and if you go separate ways then i mean that's just what it is but hopefully you guys can work things out you know this month whether you work things out together or you do it separately but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading good luck with everything and i should be back for january